<laughs> Who are the most well-paid African presidents right now? This is one of the most frequently asked questions in Africa. Without a question, African presidents are often regarded as the most important citizens in their countries. There is no doubt that African leaders enjoy numerous benefits, particularly monetary ones. Despite their countries being underdeveloped with high unemployment, they are among the best paid state leaders in the world. When the president's salary is compared to the country's GDP and the minimum wage paid to workers, this becomes clear. President and government officials can amass fortunes while the majority of the population lives on less than a dollar per day. Politics does pay not only with power and influence but also with money. Politicians, their families and partners are some of the wealthiest people in Africa. They do not create wealth. They are not business owners. Many of them do not invent anything and do not own industries. The majority of African leaders are organized crime syndicates looting their countries. When compared to developed countries, the wealthiest individuals are not politicians. Africa is a resourceful continent, but its people are poor. This is due to the fact that corruption is a major problem in the region. Many people believe that corruption levels have reduced, but this is a big deception. Take for example, Africa's share of income has been constantly dropping over the past century by any measure. In 1820, the average European worker earned three times what the average African did. Now, the average European earns 20 times what the average African does. Although GDP per capita incomes in Africa have also been steadily growing, measures are still far better in other parts of the world and this can be greatly attributed to our leaders. Using information gathered from the country websites as well as data from organizations such as the International Monetary Fund and the CIA World Factbook, here are the top five highest paid presidents in Africa. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon so that you can always get a notification every time we upload a new video. At number five, we have Abdel Majid Tabun, President of Algeria. Tabun has been the President of Algeria since December 2019 with an annual salary of $168,000. Algeria's president is among the highest paid African leaders. President Tabun was said to be Algeria's shortest serving Prime Minister, removed just three months for criticizing members of the country's elite who caused up to politicians in exchange of government contracts. However, ever since he became president, many of those he targeted have been either sentenced or are facing corruption charges. Abdul Majid Tabun has held various positions in Algeria's government, but his net worth is currently unknown. At number four, Yoweri Museveni, president of Uganda, with an annual salary of $183,216. Yoweri Museveni is the ninth and current president of Uganda. He was involved in rebellions that toppled Ugandan presidents Milton Obote and Idi Amin before he captured power in 1986. Uganda's economy under Museveni is groaning under debt constraints at the same time as the country's democratic shortcomings. In the last three years, the public debt has climbed by roughly 70% owing to a variety of loans, including those to finance the COVID-19 response. By the mid-2000s, practically all Uganda's external debt had been cancelled thanks to the debt relief program by the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank for heavily indebted developing countries. However, when the government tried to fund mega infrastructure projects in energy and transport sectors, debt pressures resumed. China has provided Uganda billions of dollars over the previous decade to fund projects such as expanding the airport and building an express highway, as well as two hydraulic power dams and internet infrastructure. Uganda today has a public debt stock of over $18 billion, which is on track to exceed the critical 50% of GDP barrier in 2022, posing a threat to the fiscal stability. Although President Museveni's net worth is unclear, many respectable websites estimate it to be around $13 billion. Corruption and nepotism were the two methods he employed to ensure that his proxies were placed in crucial positions where they would be loyal to him. His proxies are the country's top decision makers and no one in his ranks opposes his policies. He was able to loan these individuals 
with the country's resources and they made sure he stayed in power as long as he could because they are afraid that if any other leader arrives, they would no longer be able to steal from their people. At number three, Uhuru Kenyatta, president of Kenya with an annual salary of $192,200. Uhuru Kenyatta is Kenya's fourth and current president. Having taken office in 2013, he was a member of parliament and deputy prime minister before becoming president. Uhuru Kenyatta is the son of Kenya's first president, Jomo Kenyatta, who served from 1964 until his death in 1978. President Uhuru Kenyatta and his family are among the world leaders accused of storing billions of dollars in secret offshore accounts. The Kenyatta family has a half billion dollar fortune hidden in at least seven foundations and tax havens around the world, including Panama and the British Virgin Islands, according to the records obtained by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. According to the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, a UN-backed investigation discovered that one-sixth of all properties originally owned by Europeans during the colonial era were cheaply sold to Kenyatta his family and associates, notably Kenya former president Daniel Arab Moy. Over two decades, the Kenyatta family thrived under Moy's authoritarian rule, building a diary that has expanded across East Africa and now Kenya's largest milk producer, as well as obtaining large shares in domestic farms such as a major bank and upscale hotels. Uhuru Kenyatta was named Kenya's richest person and Africa's 26th wealthiest by Forbes magazine in 2011, two years before he was elected president. At number two, Sri Ramaphosa, president of South Africa, with an annual salary of $223,500, an estimated net worth of $450 million. Sri Ramaphosa is South African businessman and politician who has served as the country's fifth democratically elected president since 2018, as well as the African National Congress ANC president since 2017. President Sri Ramaphosa is regarded as an intelligent negotiator and a strategist. He was ANC's chief negotiator during South Africa's democratic transition. Ramaphosa had built the country's biggest and most powerful trade union, the National Union of Mine Workers, which played a critical role during the negotiations to end apartheid peacefully and guide the country to its first fully democratic elections in April 1994. Ramaphosa was Nelson Mandela's choice for future president. Unlike other African presidents, Ramaphosa is well known as a businessman with a net worth of more than $450 million. He previously held considerable ownership in companies such as McDonald's, South Africa, MTN as the chair of board and board member for Lonmin. Despite his credentials as a key advocate for his country's peaceful democratic transition, he has been criticized for his financial dealings. Despite the fact that he has never been charged with any unlawful action. His joint venture with Glanco and allegations of illegally benefiting from coal deals with ESCOM, which he has categorically denied, occurred during a period when Glanco was in the public eye for its shady business dealings involving Tony Blair. His son and dealer Ramaphosa was also found to have accepted payments totaling 2 million rands from Bosasa, the security firm implicated in corruption and state capture by Zondo Commission. At number one, we have Paul Beer, the president of Cameroon, with an annual salary of $620,976, with an estimated worth of $200 million. Paul Beer has been the Cameroonian president since November 6, 1982. He's Africa's second longest ruling president, the world's longest ruling non-royal leader, the continent's oldest head of state, and the highest paid African president. Paul Beer used his power to falsify the term limit laws twice in order to keep himself in power. As a result, he has had an opportunity to amass a large personal fortune worth between 200 and 300 million dollars, according to the celebrity net worth. His worth is mostly concentrated in Europe, where he owns several mansions, according to reports. The Catholic Committee Against Hunger and Development named Paul Beer to a list of leaders with ill-gotten wealth. According to Rue 89, a French online newspaper, Paul Beer's vacation was far more expensive than that of American president. In August 2009, he was heavily criticized for renting a villa for 30,000 euros per day, yet Cameroon 
is one of the poorest countries in the world with a per capita GDP of $2,257 at the time and 48% of the people living in extreme poverty. In 2008, the United States purchased $544 million in crude oil and fuel oil from Cameroon and exported $59 million in drilling and oil field equipment, yet the population are still unaware of the profits. Well, that's all I had for you today. Thank you for sticking around until the end of this video. See you in the next one. Peace.